A while back, I told everybody that my shit got stolen. I lost a lot of my old trauma equipment, you know, quick clot, hemostatic, um, some tourniquets, the whole nine years. Well, I decided I cannot find anything I like, so I made my own. I uh, vacuum sealed these. I uh, pre-made one. It's easy to rip. It rips consistently. And when it rips, it doesn't go like right off here, so you got this little ass void. It actually rips in half. It stays within a fairly consistent line. So I made my own. I got some 9 mil thick gloves here. I only had one blue pair. I have an orange pair in this. This one's a lot more exciting looking. This one's the first one I made. This one has everything in it, just like this one, but the labels are all facing in. Just kind of looks like sh doesn't look as pretty. But uh, it has a this one has a Gen 5 cat. This one has a Gen 7. I have a Gen 7 on me. And uh, also uh, added something else to my EDC. Instead of uh, I added a SWAT T tourniquet which is more or less a better pressure bandage than a tourniquet wrapped in some z-fold uh, hemostatic uh, wound pack and there's a pair of nine mil thick gloves on the inside they're orange I really know excuse me I know an orange isn't the best color for detecting blood but it's better than black but uh this has the uh, same z-fold in it but in the black I don't know the difference between them I really don't think there is there's a NAR or something, pressure bandage, just normal pressure bandage. There's a uh, hyphen chest seal in there. I have, uh, like I said, a cat tourniquet. And a thing of uh, just normal H&H &H, uh, compressed gauze. Oh, there's also a nose hose and PA in there. You can't see it in that one. And there's a pair of shears in the middle. A smaller pair. This one has a bigger pair. Um... I guess you can't see the MPA or whatever the fuck you call it. But, uh, that's what I got now. That's the start. I'm gonna make another one for pediatric, so I'm gonna have some rats tourniquets in there. And some pressure bandages and some normal gauze. I'm gonna do some research, see if what's the best for pedi pedi yeah, pediatric. See if uh, normal gauze is the best or uh, stuff with hemostatic in there. I'm just worried about maybe a small child having a stroke from the hemostatic agent. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know enough that I'm comfortable making a small pre pediatric kit for, like, my sisters, for Mongol pups and whatnot. But uh, that's another thing I like about the SWAT T turning kit. I'm going to order some more. They're good for pediatric because you, comp you can compress these pretty good. Well, oh, dropping money. A dollar, a single. But uh, anyhow, I couldn't find any trauma kits I like. So I bought several and made one. So together, I probably got 65 bucks tied up in each one, which isn't bad. Um, it's going to drive me insane. They don't look the same. It's going to kill my OCD. I also made this bigger one. This has some large pressure bandages, has two of them in there, a uh, pressure bandage of some sort, some weird brand you don't see anymore, some adhesive like ace bandage, and some normal gauze for packing wounds, a roll of gauze. But that's what I'm going to have in my backpack, and it'll handle most things. It's a lot more prepared than a lot of people I see nowadays. Also, I have one more thing to add. This small kit. That's uh, where I got all this stuff. Uh, it's a patrol officer uh, tr pocket trauma kit. It comes with a SWAT T tourniquet. That's where I got this. S roll, nitro gloves, and uh, 36 inches of duct tape. $20. A lot of people are on a budget. A lot of people don't spend money on important shit, in my opinion. So. If you buy this, a cat tourniquet, you'll be able to handle a lot of stuff. Anyhow, that that's $50 well spent, in my opinion. Anyhow, just want to do a quick video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.